Hey trainers and viewers, welcome to my gaming channel, Chicken Plays here, Pokemon Masters, and we're going to be challenging Hilda and her team in the Battle Vila of Hall 15. If you enjoy Pokemon Masters, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more of this content. And so, here are my tips, tricks, strats, and stats of the sync pairs that I'm bringing. The sync pairs that are in this battle right now are Cygnusuit Elisa, Cygnusuit Red, and Glalie. Cygnusuit Elisa is not max sync grid, but uh, Cygnusuit Red definitely has some sync unlocked passive skills such as Re uh, Rejuvenate 6 and Power Reserve, as well as some Heat Wave and other stat boosts. While Glacia, it has no current max sync grid, but definitely is useful as a support tank. So what you've noticed is that I'm going to be buffing the first time, and you saw that already. Breathtaking is going to be uh, for Charizard, so Charizard can quickly use its sync move. And Glacia is going to act as the decoy here. Glacia's Lally is going to use attention here at the beginning, and it was going to spam that Powder Snow because it's a one bar move. That's going to be definitely useful, especially because Charizard has already passives that decreases the number of sync uh, number of sync counters down to zero so that way it can continue to use its sync move and so what we're finding here is that the Charizard has mega evolved and used its first sync move and has heat wave blast burn and flare blitz but of course heat wave is the focus here so as a very strong AoE at this point Heat Wave is going to take out those side Pokemon. Uh, a couple of things to note as well is that Thundershock is a one bar move as well. So Rotom and Glalie both have one bar moves such that Charizard is going to continue to have its sync move number decrease and continue to use its sync move. And Rejuvenate 6 is going to increase that move gauge to help the team. So what we're also looking at at is that X region all takes into effect early so I definitely used one of it as a move Rotom has been taken out which is okay so but going back to X region all it gradually heals the Pokemon's HP every time it uses a move so that's a really good thing especially because Glally is bulky okay so here the Beedrill used uh, Fell Stinger, which was a pretty powerful move, and so I'm doing my best to continue to take down the opponent's Pokemon. I've already powered up some Blast Burn for Charizard, and so that's going to be useful as well in Battle Vila. Let me know in the comments section which team did you guys bring for uh, for Hall 15, or are you in Hall 15 right now or about to go in there? Let me know in the comments section what Pokemon did you use to bring and beat Hilda's team. How many times did it take for you as well? All right? And so Blast Burning again for from that Megazard. I use X Regen all here by accident, but I mean, that's okay. It's it's no big deal because uh, it's already been done and uh, Charizard is going to use another sync move again. So I advise you to unlock all of Charizard's passive skills. And if you have been farming or I've already pulled dupes of Charizard again this Charizard is a 3 out of 5 so that's how you get rejuvenate 6 as an unlock so Charizard 3 out of 5 and up is optimal and useful because of of that rejuvenate so definitely a passive skill to to keep in Battle Vila so again that Powder Snow is that one bar move I actually got to freeze Hexorus here Unfortunately, the King Draw had that Water Pulse taking down Glally, and that Frozen wasn't at last didn't last long enough. So, it's ready to use its sync move, Hexorus, and I did a Heat Wave earlier, and I'm going to survive with just minimal HP left for that Power Reserve to kick in with a Blast Burn, as well as taking the chunk 4,329 uh, from the Hexorus. And so these three sync pairs are out, or these three Pokemon are out. Okay, so that's fine. And at this point, I did have Scolipede, I had Lance, 
is uh, Dragon Knight, and I also had Dusk Noir. So Scullopee, Dusk Noir, and Dragon Knight were used in the next round to take down Hilda's team. Okay, so here we go. Lance was definitely late game. This was going from Hall 11 to Hall 15 at this point. And so Lance was definitely in the back. And if you happen to bring him, definitely use him uh, later on as a second round if you had to. So I definitely used Hyper Beam. If I missed, I would have repeated it over because of Hyper Miss. And so what I used early was the Dire Hit All. And then I'm using some buffs for Scullopede here. I'm going to Poison Jab the King Draw while the Dragonite is taking down the Hexorus. Okay. King Draw uses Swift, which doesn't take too much damage from our team. And so we're taking down little by little here. And so I'm about to use Potion after this Hyper Beam so that Dust Noir can still remain. That Hyper Beam takes out Hexorus, which is a good thing. So here's that Potion just to keep Dust Noir for the next round. Right, so it's aggroed on from the Salamence and the King Draw. I'm going to use a Shadow Punch just so that I can get the Sync move ready. And then here I'm going to use Dragonite Sync move to take, out, take that Salamence down. All right, so there it goes. Salamence has fainted, and the last Pokemon to take down is that King Draw. So using Poison Tail, I thought it would take it out, but it still lived, which was crazy. But it didn't. It didn't really matter as Dust Noir is bulky, and taking out that King Draw with Dragon Claw from Dragon Knight got me the win in the second round. Trainers. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or this video has helped you, once again, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more Pokemon Masters content. This was an awesome uh, way of completing Hall 15 and I'm looking forward to the next halls in the future. Until then, trainers, I will see you in the battlefield.